Chris, you tell us here in Town. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and when it comes to the economy of our great state, oil has played a big role in our success and our identity. Every part of the state plays a role, and over in Kilgore, you'll hear the chapter of the world's richest acre, just a small part of this great story. Texas is all about oil, and the first really big boom took place in Spindletop back in 1901. Today, you can find pump jacks from Beaumont to Midland, with roughnecks working throughout the day to collect crude. But over in Northeast Texas, the boom wasn't heard till the late 30s. That's when things got crazy in Kilgore. At the height in Kilgore, there was over 1,100 derricks. As you looked across the skyline, you could see them popping up all along. You know what's crazy is I still see derricks when I look across the skyline. Yes, you do. Just a few blocks from the big rigs still scattered across the Kilgore skyline, Olivia Moore leads things at the East Texas Oil Museum. It not only tells the story, tells the history, tells the oil piece of this area, but it tells the story of the people who lived here. Dedicated to the boom that kicked off on December 28, 1930, the East Texas Oil Museum takes a look at what life was like when oil changed the landscape of this little town. Well, you know, they say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Do you imagine how many words walking into a picture would be? What is going on in here? Well, careful. That's a time warp. Oh! Don't well, trip. Let's do the time warp again. <laughs> There's people talking to me on the roof. We have Buddy. Wow. Well, Buddy's got a lot to say. So he, he kind of brings you in and he starts telling you the story of this whole Boomtown thing. He does. He welcomes you in, talks about electricity coming to the East Texas oil uh, field. Okay. And then that brings you right into the Art General store. Wow. This is like a serious amusement park feel. Like, you definitely feel like you just came somewhere else. Yeah. That's what we go for. <laughs> so basically, this town just consists of everything that you would have found in Kilgore during the oil boom. Yes, absolutely. And we did name our towns um, different communities around East Texas because it wasn't only a boom in Kilgore, it was also a boom across East Texas. On the wall here, we have two giant maps. And that uh, shows exactly how large the East Texas oil field is. Each one of those blue dots is a well. That's a lot of wells. That is a lot of wells. One of the most active sites for drilling in Kilgore happened to be right in the middle of town, an area famously referred to as the world's richest acre. Out of that space, they put in a number of derricks right next to each other. The historical pictures of that time helped tell the story, but actually having some derricks on that acre, well, that helps too. We're an oilfield town and we're very, very proud of our heritage. Ronnie Spradlin has been the mayor of Kilgore since 2010, and he grew up here. Back when he was a boy, his family took a trip to Big D, and he had one big question. Who are their derricks? I assumed every town had derricks in it. You know, ours did. These towering spires, dedicated to a time gone by, helped bring the story of Kilgore's oil boom back to life. So this is an original derrick. This one has always been here from the day it was erected. Okay, and so each one of these represents pretty much where a derrick was. Correct. There were even more on the blog, but we put back a number of them to have a representation of what it looked like. So if there was a building here, they would simply knock down the walls and drill straight through the floor, not even pull up the floor. Yep, the old brick floor from the bank is the next derrick over, and they left the brick there and just drilled through it. The church I go to had a drill, a well drilled in the church. Our junior high school song was, Neath the towering steel of derrick stands our junior high. It was just a way of life. The oil field itself affected so many people in East Texas. It helped to insulate against the Great Depression. It helped win World War II with our oil getting uh, to the refineries in the Northeast. It just is such a special story and it needs to be told. The oil business has been like a ride on a roller coaster. There have been years where there was more money in town, second highest deposits in the state of Texas back in 78, 79. And then when the oil field would crash, uh, people would be unemployed and our unemployment would go to double digits and uh, in spite of what the nation is doing. So we have our own little economy that's totally separate from the rest of the nation. So the oil continues to churn out of Kilgore. 
providing Texans with a natural resource for energy and our economy, including bringing people to town to get a look at the lineage of the Lone Star State. Being transported back in time is something that all people would love to do before they kick the bucket. <laughs> it's an everyday reminder of how important oil was to the city of Kilgore and how important it is still today. If you haven't been to Kilgore, you haven't been to Texas.